Hey Flaggers, this is how you make the Australian flag and the colors that you'll need is blue and red and I'm going to start out by finding the halfway point on the top and the left side. For me that's two and a half inches and four inches. And then I link up the two points. Then we're going to make the Union Jack, which goes from uh, one end of the flag to the other, or not one end, which is in the top box that we just made. Uh, it's more or less going to be an axe and a, a plus sign. Kind of annoying to make, but oh well, it can be worse. Now I'm going on to the plus. Then I'm gonna make two or an inner triangle. Wait, I forgot to do the plus completely. Okay, good thing I realized that. Now I'm gonna put the triangles inside the the triangles that we just made. There should be eight. And now we're going to make the five stars on the on the flag. There we go. Uh there's going to be one under the union jack which is going to have 12 star or 12 points. And then the other four are just going to be regular stars. Sorry, Australia, if I did it wrong, it should be fine. That's the outline that you have to use for the flag. And the only other things that you have to do is color everything blue except the eight small inner lines and then the stars. Man, I'm I'm kinda hot right now because I just Running in place in my room, and right now outside's like 91 degrees, so my room's kind of hot. That's why you're that um, air conditioner in the background because it's that hot. But um, I was running in play for, for like a good 20 minutes, and if anyone knows me in real life, they know that I'm not the best at running, and 20 minutes is actually kind of long, long it's not like like insanely long by most people's standards but for me 
That was one of the longest times I was running at a consistent pace. Which is pretty good. Let's see. Okay, so I I guess I figured out something that I can talk about, and uh, what it is is about like like male and female rights. I don't know if I've talked about it in any of my other videos. I might. I think I have in one of my flag videos, but I don't think I've done it in anything else. But um. Like, some people try to make arguments of, like, um, oh, yeah, women's razors cost more than men's razors. But, like, majority of the time, I see that women get, like, five razors in one pack compared to, like, um, like, guys getting three. And I know there are, like, mechanical ones, but, like, I haven't really seen those. So I can't really talk about those. Then, um, something else that, um, people have been talking about. They've also been, like, talking about, like, like, certain things that people have made. Like, uh, let's say the windshield, like, yes, people, uh, women did make the windshield, but the guys did make the cars, which are pretty good because both are time effective and save lives well not really save lives as they probably kill more people than they save but still pretty good nonetheless but um, I personally try to bring um, some of men's issues to light and I already know that some of you might go down in the comments and say men uh, white males can't be discriminated against or don't have anything that they need to fight for but there are things that do need to be uh, brought to light and most of them are custody based like uh let's say a man and a woman get divorced none of them have any like previous illegal actions held against them like drug dealing or murder or anything like that but, um, in most cases, women would get, um, more custody. Either it be, um, two weeks for, uh, for the mom and one week for the dad. Or the woman gets full custody and the dad has to pay child support. Most of the time, the, like, man or male won't get it, even though women are two times more likely to abuse their children. I'm not saying all women do it. I'm just saying it's more likely for them. And yeah, I think, think, um, uh, men should, like, shouldn't be treated like that just because they're male but because of their past actions should be the, uh, the main determining factor on why they can't have custody of over the children and um, I also found out that uh, men are two times more likely to commit suicide than women uh, but the one, uh, but transgenders are more likely to kill themselves more. I'm not trying to make this a competition or anything, but like that's not good. That like anyone's committing uh, committing suicide, but like, man, like if you're like one side, you can't be saying uh, people can't um have like less things 
uh, against them if you haven't actually looked it up yet. And I can almost guarantee that there's like a thousand sites on why I was wrong in all in everything that I said. But um, that's kind of like what I think. And yes, there are female issues that need to be like helped or stopped or done uh, or dealt with. But um, yeah, men have issues too. I just wanted to kind of say that. And hopefully one day no one commits suicide. Because suicide's not fun. Suicide won't get you anywhere but dead. Man, this is taking a while. I I always forget how long like it actually takes for me to color certain flags because certain flags you're just having to do one like color without changing so the pencil gets dull fast then you just kind of left there just trying to get through coloring without sharpening that's fine hopefully this video isn't too long so people can actually get through it but phew.